ways to sneak into fashion shows or try to sneak into fashion shows um, when I didn't have much of an income and but my 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 income was was fashion. Hi. Okay, so um, I can't believe it. The time you're watching this video, yeah, by the time you watch this, I will be in Paris. Paris Fashion Week. And I've never been before. New York was, I've never attended New York Fashion Week the way I did that you saw in last week's video. I'll link it if you haven't seen it. Anyway, whenever you last saw it, I'll link it. It's, that in itself was, was enough thing. But anyway, I'm trying to find some pieces I wanna wear um, to mix in with my existing wardrobe. So this video is gonna be about that. Just me taking you around, showing some things online in shops, um, and just showing you as well the pieces I've got in my wardrobe already that I'm going to be incorporating. Never experienced, like I said, Fashion Week over there. Um, I hear it's a bit of a beast. So, ugh, I don't know. I'm really excited and looking forward to it. But anyway, um, so tomorrow I'll take you with me. Uh, I'm going to take my makeup off now. So let me just get that done. Speaking of New York Fashion Week, I showed you like, how I take my, like how I put my makeup on, but I'm gonna show you how I take it off. And I partnered with Neutrogena. I've been using the Hydro Boost, Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Cleansing Gel. I used Neutrogena for years. Michael loves Neutrogena as well. So I just lather up. It's just lather all over my face. And I still have my makeup on, but it takes everything off, which is why I like it. I'm really careful as well also when I'm using and um, taking my makeup off and, and just cleaning my face because I've got, I think I've told you before, I've got acne prone skin so I have to be, I have to really watch what I use. It takes everything off, all the dirt, the oils, the makeup but it doesn't strip your skin and leave it dry. This is hyperallergenic, it's paraben free, it is non-comedid, what's the word? Non-comedid, non-comedogenic, oh, I know, I'm, I'll put it on the screen but basically it doesn't block your pores because before I would use um, like tissues, like I tissue everything off, I put cream on, tissue it off, and then I turn around and wash my face. But now I just do everything in one go. It's all gone, my mascara, everything. Everything's gone. It's completely, it's great. It saves me so much time. So just to find something that takes everything off in one go and you're done. It leaves your skin noticeably softer, even to the touch, you can feel the difference. And also it helps to boost hydration, which is brilliant, especially if you've got like um, slightly drier skin or skin that tends to dry out when you've used like um, anything to like cleanse it, especially cleanse it very thoroughly like this is. And then I just finish with cold, with some cold water as well. It's a one stop shop. You can tell when your skin is completely clean but hands down, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, so I'll leave information for you below. If you're looking for something that's you know, fragrance-free, soap-free, paraben-free, all the above free, doesn't block your pores, and it really does cleanse your skin, but without stripping it, then this is this is the one to use. And it's Neutrogena, so it doesn't cost like, you know, an arm and a leg. Really glad I've got that. This saves me so much time. I'm definitely gonna be taking this with me when I go to Paris, because it saves me less things to pack. And I finish off with icing my face, which a lot now I've been doing for a while now. And that's it, my face is clean and feels, yeah, it feels hydrated as well. Time for bed. Tomorrow, we hit the streets. All right, so um, I'm gonna pop out and I'm gonna see, uh, I'm actually gonna meet someone from Poshmark to pick up a pair of boots that I'm thinking about for um, Paris. And I don't know if they're gonna work out, but we'll, we will see. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, I don't know how this vlog is going to come out because I'm just putting it together like bits and pieces but essentially I'm just trying to show you like what my thinking behind the outfits that I pick and, and, and what where I find them from which is all sorts of places so I'll take you with me um, I'll show you what the boots look like in person hopefully they work out if they're not I don't know I really wanted metallic um, and hopefully they work out because they're like $95 for them so that could be a really good sign or a really bad sign but anyway we will see um, I'm wearing Frankie shop sweater cropped and my online cargo pants i'm going to do a proper video for you on these um the whole line i have a part two my first drop was um in august and um we're coming out with a it's in collaboration with amazon that's why i say we we're coming out with a recolor and re-release 
of the collection um, but only select pieces and this is one of them which is the cargo which did run in august last year but it's got this i have it in a two new colors and one of them is this like a chartreuse color which i think is so nice for the spring spring and summer so i'm already starting to wear it because this is one of the samples i don't know the date when the collection is going to drop um amazon hasn't told me yet but what they do is they let everyone subscribe like you can get an sms sign up so put your um, email down address or your phone number i'll leave the link in the description box um, and look for this box when you click on that link and you scroll through you're thinking where's karen where's karen just look for this box i'm going to put it on the screen here um, and that is where you enter your email or your cell phone and that is when you will get alerted the day the collection drops right down to the the minute or the next you know the within minutes of it dropping so that way you'll you're ready all right that is it let me let me go okay so i met the seller she's really sweet um, i'm in brooklyn I think this is uh, I'm in Flatbush and they're really cool I mean it's exactly what I was looking for which is like a mirrored metallic silver boot but they they're not very comfortable I just put one on my foot just now um, yeah I mean it, I knew it was gonna be a gamble these are brand new Look, you can see there's never they've never been worn um, but yeah they just don't fit me right I mean I'll see properly when I get home but I think but this is a kind of boot I'm, I've always actually wanted a boot just like this um, I just need to find the right brand you know that does them and you know so they fit really well and are comfortable at the same time so I'm gonna have a look online and see if I see anything available I'm not sure if I will but I'll be looking I have been looking for this Ganny jacket since last year and now I find it on sale at Bloomingdale's I think this is a winner that's coming with me oh it nips in here there's a size bigger but it's like three sizes too big and I'm swimming in it and you can't see this definition and I think that's why I like it it's the fact that it's got that waist definition so I'm trying to not have to do up that button I think these two will be fine yes I'm de-wigged I like this I really like this I'm so glad about it I just tried on this dress by Ganny um, it could either look really cool or just look really matronly and stupid and I think it's bordering on the latter what do you reckon? there's no pockets but it doesn't matter as far as like it's just about the shape of it i love the sleeves but for this part it doesn't look good right what do you reckon yeah i'm not i'm not feeling it but i'm feeling that so i just left bloomingdale's after picking up that jacket from ganny on sale and I'm going to pop into Zara to see if they have any affordable bright pieces or maybe even the shoes I'm looking for. Well today wasn't too bad. I can't believe I got the, um, the Ghani green jacket. I've had my eye on it like I said since last year. So to get it now on clearance is like perfect. So I'm definitely going to bring that with me. Um, I'm waiting for some things in the mail but maybe I'll show you on screen when I get home what they are so you can see what I've got coming um, and yeah those are the things that I want to hopefully if they work out they'll be coming with me as well so all right let me um, get back to the car and I'll talk to you in a bit but I hope that helped coming with me what am I saying helped I hope you liked coming with me <laughs> all right so um like I said, I want to show you the pieces that I'm bringing with me to Paris. And these are the pieces that's in my wardrobe already. Yeah, actually sound off in the comments and let me know which ones you like for me to, to wear. Because I'm curious to, to get your, even though I'll already be there, um, they'll, by the time this video goes up, I think they'll still be like maybe a couple more days left. I'm not even sure because it depends what I'm going to. Let me know what you think in the comments below anyway. Um, on what you think on these pieces yes or no yes or no to bring to with me so first up i'm planning to bring this top 
which is by Cult Gaia, and it is this. It's this. It looks like very much like Izumiaki vibes with the pleats, please. The sleeves. It's really about the sleeves and the cropped torso. It comes in different colors. I got it in black, and I love it. Anyway, I like the idea of wearing this with anything high waisted, whether it's a trouser whether it is a skirt. Um, I could even see it maybe layered over a dress, the right dress though. But um, a wide-legged trouser would look amazing with this, I think. Or like a, a really, just the right kind of skirt. Anyway, so that's the first one. And then I'm also planning to bring some vintage pieces with me. This I have, I've had this, if you've been following me, you know about this, this blouse already. I've had this for about 10 years, this blouse. I thank God it still fits because it's stunning. I love it. Um, it's see-through and it's an uh, old Victorian blouse. And these are the sleeves on it. And look at the um, cuff, ultra long cuff. And that's also got um, details on it as well. It's almost like a, a top version of a wedding dress. Look at that. It's beautiful. So there's that as well. It um, has three pearl buttons at the back with loops to close them and the buttons are all still intact and on it. So that is this piece and it has a little drawstring here at the waist so you can slightly cinch it. I've worn it before with a pair of um, combat trousers so I'll show you on the screen. Um, so there's this and the next piece I'm thinking about bringing, again let me know what you think. Um, is this skirt. Who remembers this skirt? I picked it up in Beacon's closet and I never quite understood when I would use it but I knew I felt like the occasion would come and I think I got it about five months ago something like that. Who remembers when I got this? It's very full. It's not even coming across as full. Can you hear it? It's got like um, crinoline under it. Lace. So this is also an option and it's this stunning emerald green. It's again, it's coming out a little bit blown out on camera. It's a little bit, it's much darker. It's almost like that color, maybe even slightly darker than that, but this, so that is also an option and it just sits right here. And I was thinking of just kind of, I've just got ideas about how I think, how I imagine I would wear it. So there's this as well, okay. I think it's great. A lot of people look and they go, oh my God, it looks like an American prom thing. But I don't see that. I see something completely different. So there's that. Also, there is this skirt, the wool skirt that I picked up. This was from Farfetch by Alice McCall. It is a lilac colored skirt. I'm looking at a lot of colors for this to bring with me. I like colors on me. Um, so there's this and it's got a slit at the back. Um, it's kind of like a, a wide column cut. So I'm thinking about that as well. Okay, so moving along, I am going to also Think about, oops, it just fell, sorry. This dress, now I haven't worn it yet. Again, it's almost like the, oh God, I actually like it over this. It's such a good dress. But I plan to wear it almost like a top because it's quite short. And I probably wouldn't wear this as is. I don't think I would. So I got this from Cos and it is a stunning, beautifully made structured dress. Um, it has sort of Cecile Pahansen vibes as well to it. Um, and it's just a simple, you know, drop um, neck dress, um, slight empire line cut to it. And it's beautiful. And I can see this layered um, over something like this, like a second skin piece. Look at that, I love that contrast of the two. So that is how I was thinking about somehow styling this. Um, I'll show you on the screen, I first got it in the changing room and I tried it on in Paris because I got it in the cost store over there. And I even loved the vibe that it gave off from wearing it just like that because I didn't want to get changed when I was in the changing room. So I just slipped it on over what I had and I kind of liked the way it looked just like that. So there is this that I'm thinking of. And it has pockets, by the way. Another piece I'm thinking about bringing, I'm not sure, is this Zara sequined dress. I've had it for donkey's years, a lot of you know this as well. Um, it is a maxi. Um, I've had this for about four years now, maybe. God, it's amazing. It's funny, I love that when I buy stuff like from like Zara and those kind of places, I really try and just choose very carefully so I end up keeping them for like years. So this is one of those pieces. It does have pockets. I'll show you how I've worn it. I wear this, ca I wear this casual. This to me, I wear during the day. I've never worn this sequin dress at night because I don't like the idea personally of wearing a sequins at, during the nighttime. I like to play with wearing it during the day. 
So this I just wear like combat boots. So there is this as well. And then there is this dress. I don't know if it's too summery, but I'm thinking about bringing it anyway. It's by Dion von Furstenberg. And this has a lot of special sentimental value. It is a strapless dress and it has these two long rope thin ties here, which you can wear like going like halter neck and just tie it at the back, or you can just leave it hanging down loose like this, got two balls on the end. And it also has pockets and it is super long and it is a stunning print. And I've always, one of my favorite summer dresses, I've worn it in St. Lucia because it's just such a beautiful, vacay dress as well i'll show you on the screen as well how you can see it on me so i don't know if this is too vacation to wear over there or not but i'm going to bring it with me because it's a stunning dress it's dbf like i said and what's significant about this is that i tried i remember the first time i saw this dress it was actually with my own eyes one fashion show years ago for dvf and my friend me and daria we weren't invited to the show and we just sneaked in <laughs> God, we sneaked in. We stood in the very back and this black woman, black model, I remember she had no hair, like just very sh shaved, very short, dark skin. So Amazon-esque, just statuesque. And she just wafted, she glided, she floated down the runway. I remember it was like a, a rectangle runway. And uh, I remember she came down that way and when she came this way, I was literally standing right in front of her and I just oh that was going on in my head the angel singing and she was wearing this with her hands in her pockets never forgot it and then I ended up finding this I can't remember it was either in a consignment shop a designer consignment shop or it was online on sale something like that you know way after the show and it was meant to be because I couldn't believe it because I it was just a full circle moment and here I am again bringing this dress up but this time to go to Paris Fashion Week so this has a sentimental value from the Fashion Week perspective and then of course I don't know if I should have asked but my Holston vintage skirt everyone knows this skirt I'll, again a couple of pictures going up on the screen for you I have loved this skirt forever and you lot have loved this skirt forever it is absolutely beautiful in person. So I'm actually thinking about bringing this. Um, the story of the, how I found this was amazing. A woman was sitting cross-legged on a blanket with a pile of clothes. I saw a flash of gold. I pulled it out from the pile and it was this. And I couldn't believe it. And it was, it was meant to be because I've loved it ever since. And I've worn it to death. So I'm thinking about bringing this as well. Because look, it's just like liquid gold. Couple more pieces is this um, dress. It's just a long kind of, it's not even zebra print. It's not an animal print. What do you call this print? Geometric? I'm not sure, so sure. But anyway, it's that print and it's in a sky blue with a dark blue mix. And it's just a long dress, it doesn't have pockets. So I was thinking about bringing that and maybe just putting like a statement belt with it, like the Loewe belt. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was such a great dress. Just bring it. So there's that as well. I got this from Cos when I was in Paris in December. So let me know what you think about this one. Next is my Gani dress. This is the, oh. <laughs> This is the, the one with the feathers in that gorgeous, like dark olive green color. It has pockets, it is beautiful. It looks so good as is on bare skin, but I love to wear it layered over like second skin, over t-shirts even, um, and just like with boots, you know, the way I wear things like that. I can wear it just loose the way it is, or it looks really pretty as well belted like this. I think that looks so nice. So this is also an option that I'm really thinking about taking with me. Again, leave comments below on what you think, like, yes, definitely bring this, this, and this. I would love to know your favorites. And then this is something I don't think anyone has ever seen before, but I've had this for several years and it's one of my prized possessions as well, even though you don't really see me wear it, but I want to, I think, for Fashion Week in Paris. It is a vintage, uh, somebody can actually let me know. I think this is an Indian uh, piece piece from India. It reminds me of um, the pieces that is worn when you're wearing um, a sari and then they have this bodice underneath, which I think is this. Correct me if I'm wrong, so let me know. But this is what I have and it is beautiful. It's absolute, the workmanship on this is like, it's just beautiful, look. Hopefully you can see the work on it. It's really well made and I couldn't believe it when I found it. 
Um, and yeah, so this is the back of it. It's kind of open at the back, but it has uh, hook and eye closures for here. So that's how the back of it will look. And that's the front. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm also thinking about a way to incorporate this top. So as you can see, there's a lot of, um, there's a mix of high street, um, vintage and designer. And that represents me. I shop that way. I always have. So it's just, that's what to me makes for an interesting wardrobe. It's not necessarily shop shopping in one of those categories it's shopping from all of them and it's mixing it all together so let me show you the rest as well so i have these two um, blouses they're both the same just in two different colors one is black underneath um, and they both are like clouds look at the sleeves on them really full with a tiny little tight cuff and really really just completely transparent so when your arm is in it you will see and also when you're just wearing it you will see like your underwear so this is the kind of tops or blouses where you wear something really pretty a really pretty bra and it's intentional um, and like I said I have it again in black and it's identical it's the same it's the same blouse so yeah so let me know about these I thought these would be really look at the, the black one Anyway, I thought this would be really nice with a really pretty bra um, to wear as a separate with like a really long skirt or just something like, you know, a little heel or whatever it is I just choose to wear. I'm not sure about heels because I haven't really found any heels yet. Hopefully by the time, you know, I'm over there, check on my Instagram to see if I ended up finding heels, but I'm not really good with finding heels that I like. I'm so particular, which is why you see me wear boots so much because I'm not really a thin heel person and it's very difficult for me to find a good heel. Anyway, so those two blouses to wear, um, transparent blouses, so there's those two. Oh, and by the way, I got these from Nasty Girl about four years ago. Going back to COS, and I haven't worn it because the label is still, <laughs> the tags are still in it. It's another piece that I picked up in Paris and it is a cropped jacket effect or, or wool shirt. Um, it's, I just really, really loved it. I tried it on, I thought it was amazing. It's so simple. I mean, it's such a good DIY as well, if you want. But I just took it the way it is and I thought this is such a great piece. It's such a, um, a really nice little contemporary piece to wear. Obviously it's deliberately meant to be, it comes up to like literally just covers my boobs and that's it. But you just wear something ultra long underneath it. And I think that's the whole point, whether it's a dress, whether it is a button down shirt, you know, that's the whole point of this. So there's this. And then I'm going to show you a couple of, um, actually, outerwear. I have to be very careful because I don't want to pack too much. But so I'm not sure about this, but tell me, this is a vintage jacket that I have. It weighs a ton though, so I'm not sure if I should bring it, but I've always really liked it. And I thought it was just really cool to wear something that is not designery. It's obviously, to me, vintage and to just rock that over there. So there's this beautiful piece. I found this in a flea market in New York. I think it's stunning. It has beading as well, detailing. All here is, is beading and it's so nice. And it's just got this plaiting going all the way that trims it, ultra long fringe. It's just so badass and it's so rock and roll. So there's that, but like I said, it weighs a ton. Um, and then there is a piece that I found whilst I was in um, Bloomingdale's. You already know about this piece already. It's this by Ganny. This is gorgeous on. I really, it doesn't have hanger appeal. It's when you put it on, you can see, and hopefully you saw when I had it in the fitting room earlier, it just, the way it just curves in here, it defines the waist so nicely. And by doing so, they cut the sleeve intentionally wider, which to me just emphasizes the contrast between a wide sleeve and then you've got like this going in here and it's in a beautiful color. This kind of pop lime green, I think is beautiful, it's so nice. So I'm definitely going to bring that. I don't need to ask you. <laughs> This is coming, but um, let me know about the rest. And in terms of other jackets or outerwear, let me show you a couple that I'm thinking of. Okay, so a couple of other pieces um, I wanted to show you, I forgot about this, is this vintage blouse. Again, I've had this for a very long time. I wanna say I've had this for about 10 years. It is beautiful. Let me just show you the beading is absolutely, it's exquisite on it. That's the only way I can describe it. Look at that, it's just, it's just so good. Anyway, that, it's like crystal drops and they run all throughout it. Hopefully you can see, get an idea of it. It is such a nice piece and I have 
loved it for so long so this i'm thinking of bringing with me because i just i just think it's such a great piece i just don't know how to wear it but you know me i'll always figure out a way so there is this as well that i'm really thinking about bringing i just think it would be really good to go to like um a more of a traditional show i don't think i'm going to any of the big shows I, I already know that i'm not going to dior i'm not going to chanel i'm not going to all those big houses but you know at the same time i think <sighs> wear these things you know just wear them anyway during that period of time because i just think it's such a beautiful it's just a good homage to craftsmanship which is what all of these houses are about or should be anyway so there is that and then um, I'm thinking of also bringing my what is this I always forget the name it's Romaine Burgenson Christensen Ber Burger Christensen um, I'm sorry for but butchering that name but it's a bright tangerine coat or jacket rather it's like a waffle um, texture to it very boxy cut very sort of workman kind of looking wow do you know what I didn't know there's a back pocket that's the first time look I had no idea that was there <laughs> until now that is hilarious. Oh God. And it's got two front pockets here and then again on the breast with a flap for each. But I just like how lightweight it is and how bright it is. And I think it would look really nice contrasted with um, maybe a couple of things I have coming. Now, the things I have coming, um, I'm just gonna put them on the screen because at the time of recording this video, they're not here yet. But by the time you watch this video, I will have packed them, hopefully, if they all fit, and bring them with me. One is this skirt, and it is by Christopher John Rogers, and it's this beautiful lime green. At least it is on screen, so I'm hoping that it's going to look like that in person. I'll show you right here, so I'm thinking of bringing that with me. Also, I picked up this corset top, and I believe it's by Dion Lee, and I just thought it was so unusual. I love the idea of, like, the boning that goes underneath, like, cups under here, and just, like, cinches and defines the waist. I thought that was really pretty, and you can wear that with, like, a menzy trouser with a shirt under it, or even with, um, like, a long flowing skirt. I just think that's such a cool thing with, like, a, a boxy blazer on top. Um, I also picked up this stunning one-shoulder blouse. It comes in black, white, and, like, this sort of... Uh, the same colour as the the the, yeah, the corset, <laughs> that kind of tan colour, but I picked it up in black because I like the idea of just doing a monochromatic look of wearing it either with black on black or with black and white or just wearing it even with jeans because it's black and I think the black contrasts beautifully with like a denim colour as well, with a denim skirt or a denim jean, like a really like ripped up kind of denim, really kind of just pair of sneakers, just, just really just casualise it down. And that sash... Um, it can actually be dropped even longer. I'll show you here. I think I saw on the Intermix site. So you can actually wear it like this, so real dramatic effect. So I thought that would be look, look good for either during the day to attend something, or if I was to go to a party, I could wear it as well. So there is that. Um, oh, silver boots. I've been trying to find good silver boots. Um, and I asked you guys on Instagram, so help, thanks so much for helping me. And off the back of your recommendations, I ordered a couple of boots. And so I'm going to wait and see what those look like. Um, yeah, and we'll just cross my fingers that one of those work. Because I like the idea of white and silver. Because I think it's such a good neutral and such a nice light colour to wear to your clothing outside of just wearing black. Which kind of drains a little bit. You want something to kind of uplift. And I think those two... I think silver does that really, really well, and it acts like a neutral. Um, but that's it. In terms of bags, I mean, I'm probably just going to bring, I'm going to bring colourful bags, okay? So I'm going to bring, like, my, both my Jodies in the green and the white. Um, I'm probably going to bring my tan Loewe here. I'm going to definitely bring my uh, Fendi baguette over here, and then I'll just pull a couple of other bags as well just to have with me, maybe my Dior saddle in the, you know, that blood red uh, kind of color. So I'll bring that. But um, that's it in a nutshell. I'm not gonna show you shoes and all that because this video will just go on forever. But a lot of the shoes I wore from New York Fashion Week, I'm gonna be packing those as well. And hopefully, like I said, I'll be bringing a couple of other things that's new with me. And that is kind of it. All right, so let me know your thoughts on all of those things I'm thinking of bringing. And oh, I'll leave the link as well below for the Neutrogena cleanser that I've been using every night. And I think that is it. Watch my Instagram. It's Karen Britchick here. I'll leave the name on the screen, same as my YouTube channel. And you will be able to already see what I'm wearing to Paris Fashion Week. Because like I said, 
I will have already been there for a few days by the time you're watching this video and I'll either be back by the time you're watching this or I may still be there, I'm not too sure. But if you want to see what outfits did I end up wearing, go over there and have a look. And also I'm posting every day on my stories on my Instagram as well. But I'm trying to show you a little bit on uh, YouTube shorts. So hopefully you'll be seeing that as well going up. But that is my lot, all right? So I'm gone, I can't wait. I can't wait to go. This is a dream for me. It is for me. Um, I used to, like I said before, I used to sneak into fashion shows or try to sneak into fashion shows um, when I didn't have much of an income and, but my, my, my income was, was fashion. It, it was what I, and still do love. And I used to just revel in looking at the shows and also looking at people going to shows and look at them, looking at them leaving the shows and what they're wearing and stuff like that. So. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it and I'm quite proudly obsessed with it too because it's now turned into my job. <laughs> but um, first time for Paris, absolutely, and the New York Fashion Week. So I'll leave that New York Fashion Week vlog down in the description box if you have not seen it and how that all went down. And uh, I will definitely do a vlog on Paris Fashion Week, but wait obviously until I'm back. Uh, maybe that'll go up next week, I'm not sure. Anyway, between now and then, I will see you, like I said, on Instagram, okay? Karen Britchick and on TikTok. All right, my loves, take care, bye. And tell me what to pick, all right? Leave your comments below on these pieces I definitely should bring with me. All right, bye.